Our continuing our coverage of the death of 10 year old Renaya Wright in Colleton County and are expecting a press conference from the Colleton County Sheriff's Office at any moment. Monday, Renaya and another student were in a fight so severe she had to be airlifted from Forest Hills Elementary School in Walterboro to MUSC. Wednesday morning, she died. School officials then met to discuss the incident, and the other student has been suspended pending an investigation. Renaya's autopsy is scheduled for today. The Wright family has retained lawyers for representation. Margie Pizarro and Maisha Brown released a statement calling her a wonderful student who was loved by her friends and family, and she loved playing basketball and serving as a junior usher at church. In a statement, they said, in Renaya's name, the family is demanding change. Change that addresses the reasons that a child would openly express anxiety about attending school. Change that addresses legitimate fears that a child has while in the school building. Change that addresses bullying and teasing and the collateral damage when those behaviors go unchecked. Attorneys David Ayler and Mark Pepper are now representing 10-year-old Renaya Wright's father. They say today Jermaine Van Dyke has been provided no pertinent information from school officials or local law enforcement regarding the death of his daughter while in the custody and care of the school district. Rightfully so, he is distraught and frustrated by their lack of communication. They will hold a press conference Monday at 11 at Forest Hills Elementary School to update the community on the results of their investigation. And we spoke with State Superintendent Molly Spearman about this death. We asked her about the role of teachers to intervene in school fights, the training substitute teachers get for those situations, the history of bullying incidents at Forest Hills Elementary School, and what this means that needs to be changed. We have her story coming up on News 2 at 6. And as we said, an autopsy for Renaya Wright is expected to happen today. We are currently waiting on the results. You can count on us to bring you all the information as it comes in on air and online at countonto.com as well as our app for smartphones. We have much more on this story coming up later in the show as well as online and countonto.com.